Hi. Today I will share with you, bark grafting technique. In this video you will see, a successful grafting of the orange, to another citrus tree. Select the rootstock you want to graft to, and cut it to desire height. Clean the surrounding area from leave in sections. Sterilize your tools, with solution or fire. Then, make a V-shape cut on the section, it should be sharp and clean, and it's better to be about 2 to 3 centimeters tall. Select the section that at least contains two buds, to increase the success rate. Make sure, you do the cut in right end of, the section, or it will not grow. If you're not sure about that, you can check the buds and leaves and compare it with similar tree, to see if you're doing the graft in the right direction. I would like to mention, that you can click the CC icon below the screen, to see the explanation in writing too. Also if you like to translate this video, in other preferred language you can help me with it by following the link in description. You're welcome to share this video with others in your social networks too. Then make a vertical cut, in the side of rootstock, and carefully open the skin, in a way that you can insert the section into that from the top, like this. Do the same thing with other sections, and prepare them. Here I have experienced with four insertion in this grafting, two are, the same way as I have explained, and the other two are, using the cleft grafting techniques.
to do the cleft grafting I have made vertical cut in the center of the bark. About 2 to 3 centimeters. Doing that, by pushing the blade back and forth slowly to reach to needed depth. Now, open up the cut, and insert four sections carefully into the rootstock one by one make sure, to align cambium of section and rootstock at least on one side, for the cleft type grafting. Three of the section I have used for this grafting, was experimental, and not very fresh. I wanted to see if I will succeed, with it. But only the orange was fresh section. Okay, now wrap the grafting joint with the grafting tape nicely, if you don't have grafting tape like me, wrap it with electrical tape, just make sure it is waterproof, it is good idea to use grafting wax to cover the joints, I have used homemade grafting wax in my new grafting and success rate is much better. It is very important that the graft is waterproofed, or graft, will rotten. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and share it with others.
I will be posting new videos every week, so don't forget to subscribe. Now, cover it with a clear nylon to protect it from drying out but make a small ventilation cutting plastic. Also it is good idea to cover the nylon with paper or paper bag to prevent it from the direct sunlight. I will be posting new videos every week, so don't forget to subscribe. Ok, this is the result after 3 weeks, the clip you see is about 2 weeks of growth of the bud in the orange section, as you can see, unfortunately only one of the section is started growing. I guess one of main reason is that the other sections was not fresh and not in good condition.